Hello everyone, back to you to tonight's video, We're doing the second update for the Glastonbury Festival uh, for tonight's video. So we did update one on Friday, and it's a pretty decent update really. Started off fairly warm and dry, became cooler as it went on, but uh, it stayed generally on the dry uh, side. Uh, we saw in the extended range of the uh, extended GFS model. The GFS model runs to 384 hours away, so it's pretty, um, it's the longest sort of uh, model we have in terms of going two uh, and a bit weeks out. Uh, but when you go to that uh, length of uh, been so far away, uh, it's unreliable, uh, particularly in terms of detail. So what we do for the first week with these updates is just see if we can find a trend within the model, and then the second week is always uh, the week when we start to pin down uh, the detail. But at the moment, we're just looking at the trends and seeing what the model is predicting. So that's what we're going to do uh, right now. As with update one, we're going to start off on uh, Wednesday, 21st of June, when I know a lot of people will be heading down to Glastonbury to uh, set up their tents. And this is what it's showing on the very latest run of the GFS model. This is the midday uh, run. This is 10 days away, so it's just starting this day, Wednesday, 21st of June, just beginning to head towards a semi-reliable uh, time frame. So it's showing an area of high pressure sitting out to the west of the UK and the winds are coming down from the north. So this could be quite cool. North is always a cool direction any time of year and it, that's true in summer. Uh, but it's not going to be overly wet because we're blocking off the Atlantic. The Atlantic Ocean is where most of our rain bearing uh, clouds come from. So you've got high pressure to our west blocking off the Atlantic Ocean. Then generally it's not going to be all that unsettled because you may get showers coming down with these normally winds but overall high pressure to the west blocks off the Atlantic so it's a reasonably dry signal but the winds are going around the high pressure in that direction which means it's going to be quite cool and probably dragging down a fair amount of cloud as well. So these are the upper air temperatures for Wednesday 21st of June. When a lot of you are heading down to Glastonbury. And they do look cool. In fact they look unusually cool really for the second half of June. However we see loads of dry weather across the country. And it is looking dry down towards Somerset as well. But it's cool temperatures for most parts of the country. Just into the mid to upper teens Celsius. So you may scrape 18, 19 or 20 degrees in the sunshine shine. These uh, charts usually undercut the temperatures by a few degrees at this time of year. So that's suggesting around sort of 15 to 17 degrees there and you'd probably be able to increase that say 20 degrees which isn't going to be too bad in the June sunshine but it's a bit on the cool side. Uh, Thursday 22nd of June again a lot of you heading down to Glastonbury on this day again same idea really high pressure is out to our west so we blocked off the Atlantic no rain bearing weather fronts coming in but around the top of this high pressure the wind is coming around from the north so again upper air temperatures are looking quite cool. It's looking mostly dry, particularly so in the west and southwest where we're closest to that ridge of high pressure, possibly showers in the east, but you wouldn't need to worry about that. And again, temperatures are looking cool, unusually so for the time of year, although these will be undercooked and uh, if you get some sunshine in June, despite that showing 15 degrees, if you was to get uh, decent sunny spells, you would be able to lift those temperatures up quite nicely to around 19 or 20 uh, degrees, whatever this model is showing. However, at night, um, you get radiative cooling, of course, so uh, maybe some quite cold nights you need to um, tuck down in your tents uh, overnight. Uh, moving through to day one of the actual Glastonbury Festival itself, which is Friday 23rd of June, and uh, no real change. The high pressure is still out to our west. We're still pulling down this northerly wind. It looks as though pressure is beginning to weaken a little bit, uh, to the east of the country. So uh, it's the same idea, but possibly a greater risk of showers, I would have thought. Upper air temperatures, they still look cool. The model is suggesting mostly dry weather. We're too far out for that kind of detail anyway. With pressure generally weakening a bit, I think there would be a growing chance of showers. Temperatures are still cool, but if you get sunshine, uh, you'd lift the temperatures up a lot more than this model is showing to around 90 or 20 degrees. Bear in mind, these northerly winds might have quite a lot of cloud with them. 
Uh, no change, really, for Saturday 24th of June either. The high pressure remains to our west. We keep the wind in from the north. The temperatures, our bread temperatures, stay cool. The high pressure is blocking off the Atlantic, so no rain bearing system. You see all this blue that's out in the middle of the Atlantic. That's the rain bearing systems all a long way away from us. And also going to our south, in towards Spain and France. But for us, because we're close to this ridge, these rain-bearing fronts can't get at us. The danger with this pattern is this rain we've got up here over Scandinavia. Of course, that could be an area of low pressure that was to sink down the North Sea. But on face value, this is actually another very dry uh, uh, run from the GFS tonight. Temperatures, again, they seem to be very cool, but probably undercooked. And then we finish up on sunny 25th of June, the final day of the Glastonbury Festival. And we find that uh, the high pressure is still there to the west, but wind's going a little bit more west northwest, so that's a slightly uh, less cool direction. The upper air temperature still look pretty lowly. It's mostly dry, again, for many parts of the country, and the temperatures are just edging up ever so slightly, although still below par. So I think it's a fairly reasonable update, this one, in terms of dry weather. And I suppose that's the most important thing, really, because the worst thing that can happen at Glastonbury is that the whole thing turns into a quagmire. And again, we've got another dry update so that's the good news the bad news is that it's fairly uh cool uh really quite disappointing temperatures probably a fair amount of cloud coming down with these northerly winds as well so a bit sort of fair to middling really it's uh, okay for rainfall it's not as good for temperature um and we'll do update free it's sunny today so we'll do update free on tuesday and see what it's shown then the pat we've got here there is a danger with it but it could turn out to be more unsettled if low pressure was to come down from the north or northeast that's a bit of a concern but overall i think update two is a fairly decent update for you and we'll do update three on tuesday thanks for watching